What's up YouTube? KS Gun Guy here. Thanks for joining me today as always. So every once in a while I feature products on the channel and these products are geared towards concealed carry, home defense, or just going to the range and having a really good time. Today I've got a belt by Blackbeard Belts. This is the Peacekeeper Duty Belt and I've been pairing this for the past couple of weeks with my Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 Compact along with my Harry's Holster Insider Defender and actually a mag pouch which I generally don't do but I really wanted to uh, try and uh, stretch myself and the belt to its limits. So I want to share my thoughts on this belt with you and my experiences. So let's go ahead and dive deep. So let's take a look at this Peacekeeper duty belt from Blackbeard. It's got some very interesting features on it, but you're probably wondering some just very generic things. One thing is it's 1.5 inches wide, uh, which means it's uh, not only well suited from a concealed carry standpoint, but just a casual belt all the way around and can fit on most jeans and shorts, that sort of thing, uh, without question. I'm not sure that I would necessarily consider this a formal belt, that's just me. But again, from a casual standpoint, it really could be a daily belt, whether you're carrying or not, which is kind of nice. Blackbeard also says that you could use this for competition. It's definitely strong enough, I think so too, depending on the type of competition uh, you're, uh, you're going for. Now, one of the really interesting things about this, you'll notice it's got this second strap right here, and these are it's actually a ratchet system, and these are one quarter inch increments right here over the course of nine inches. So you have a lot of adjustment potential here, which is fantastic, as we all know, depending on what type of gear we're carrying or how much we fluctuate in weight, that sort of thing, it's really nice to be able to have a, a pretty wide field of adjustment with your uh, with your belt. Now it's made from a polymer coated nylon. I'll try and get this in camera as best I can. This thing gives me fits a little bit. Uh, but again, polymer coated nylon and the ladder strap, which is this guy right here, is made from DuPont Zytel, which sounds very fancy and, and uh, I have no idea what that is, but, uh, but so far it has definitely been very strong and very durable. Now, a couple of things, um, it does have this ratchet system right here, so I'm gonna show you how this works. Um, and it took me a little while to figure out. I'm hoping I can capture as much of this in the light as I possibly can. But basically, you, you tilt this backwards on the belt to get it into the ratchet right here. And then you can go and, and you could just press it forward. It makes kind of a funny sound. I imagine if you're in the restroom, people are probably gonna <laughs> I <laughs> wonder what you're doing right there. Uh, but again, it can just adjust as much as you want. Uh, and if you want to remove it there, you just lift on this middle tab right here and you can pull it back out and it'll come off. Again, kind of not very, very fun on, uh, on camera. Now, if you wanna make fine adjustments, what's really cool, you can actually lift this up and it will again, ratchet on and you can just make those quarter inch increments. So that's really kind of cool. Um, again, I imagine it would sound kind of funny in the stall next to you, but uh, it definitely works for sure. Now, one of the really nice things, if I can get this again on camera, always a challenge. Uh, one of the things I've noticed about this, this, bell's, this belt does have a little bit of give to it, but it gives in the right way. As we all know, as we wear a belt throughout the day, we're going to be adjusting. We're going to be moving around and all that sort of thing. So you want a belt that's got a little bit of flex to it. However, it does not fold in on itself. I mean, I'm putting about as much pressure as I possibly can, and this thing is absolutely, it's, it's holding tight without question. So um, it's got a little bit of flexibility, you'll see, but it does not bend in on itself. So it's very strong and it's very durable. And when you hold it up, again, it's got a little bit of flex there, but, uh, but it definitely is rigid enough to hold your gear all day long. And I'll throw a holster on this just to kind of show you guys what it would be like. Now, one of the really cool things about this, if for some reason your buckle does break, you can actually take this off and you can replace just the buckle. So uh, it, it all comes apart uh, and they've got a lifetime warranty on it. So just get in touch with them if you run into any problems or anything like that, and I'm sure they will work with you. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you guys real quick, and it's gonna to be tough to capture this on camera very well, depending on the angles you're looking at. However, um, if you're wearing this belt, of course, you're gonna have some belt loops maybe right around where my fingers are right here. You'll notice that this gun is is not going anywhere. It's very solid. Um, it's, uh, it's it's definitely holding. It's, it's certainly rigid enough, again, with just a little bit of flex there to support your movements like you would, but supports that gun and holds it up. Again, I've been wearing this for a couple of weeks now, and it is very comfortable 
comfortable. Uh, Harley noticed the gun on, so the belt was definitely doing its job. And as you guys know, a belt with your EDC system is gonna be one of the most critical things to making sure everything is comfortable, everything stays put exactly where it needs to be. Now, I have one criticism of this belt, and it's a, uh, it's, it's a very minor criticism, and that's actually of the buckle itself. Now, it took me a little while to get used to once I got used to the functionality. That part's perfectly fine. You'll notice, however, it sticks out a little ways. So uh, you, you definitely want to kind of be considerate of what you're wearing if that's, uh, you know, important to you. Uh, so the, buck the buckle could probably be just a little bit uh, shorter, but considering all the mechanisms and how this works, they probably couldn't get it uh, any more low profile than it already is. And again, at the end of the day, that's kind of a petty criticism, uh, just something that I noticed. But by and large, again, this uh, Peacekeeper Duty Belt from Blackbeard Belts has been absolutely fantastic. It's been comfortable, it's been very strong, very durable, and I will continue to report back over time as I continue to use this. Uh, but I definitely recommend checking out Blackbeard Belts, and I'm wheeling in some different pictures of the products that they have, and they've got a wide price range depending on what type of belt you are looking for. So you can definitely hone in on the one that's exactly that's right for you. Guys, be sure to sound off in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about Blackbeard belts or any other belts you have experiences with. It's a lot of fun to get a conversation going about these types of things. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time.